Hello friends, you are watching Analytics Solutions and today in this video I will show you how can we install uh, Linux Apache MySQL PHP server, so, well, the LAMP stack in Ubuntu. Okay, so like in Windows we have WAM server or XAMPP server which is Windows Apache MySQL PHP server. So like in Linux we have LAMP server, Linux Apache MySQL PHP server. So now let's uh, go ahead with the installation of LAMP server in Ubuntu. Okay, so I have given a link in the description. So from that you can easily download the lamps, uh, this, uh, the Bitnami uh, lamp stack from there. Okay, so I have already downloaded it. So I'll just move go ahead with uh, going to my downloads folder, and here you can see I have downloaded that Bitnami lamp stack. Uh, when you will just click on that link, you will the download will automatically get started. Okay, so now. First of all, I'll give it execute permission ch mode plus x and then the file name. And after that, I'll just uh, run it. Oh, I'm sorry. So here you can see the installation has begun. So I'll get next, then next, and it is asking for a path. So here I am giving the home, and this path you can change it the path if you want from here. Get choose next, and it's asking for a password. I'll give my password. Okay, we'll click next and it's saying your setup is ready to be installed. So the installation has been started. So this will take around four or five minutes. Uh, the installation will take four or five minutes. So I'll just skip this part. So now here you can see it says it has been installed successfully. Now we'll click on finish. So it seems it has been installed. So I'll just head on to the uh, Firefox. And I'll go to localhost. And it works on 8080 port. So here you can see the default page of Bitnami has been opened. Okay. So the uh, folder in which you can put your files are in. The path where you have installed this Bitnami. Like mine is installed in home, Gaurav and LAMP stack. I'll do ls over here. And after that you have to go to Apache 2. And here you have to go to stdocs. Like similarly in Windows. And uh, here I'll create a directory. I'll name it as php and i'll go to the directory and i'll create an index.php file just for a small demonstration that how can you put your uh, code i'll give echo hello user i'm just write and quit from this file and I'll just head to the Firefox and after here I'll give the folder name like PHP and here you can see that output which we have given hello user so the directory which we have created like I, I will do cg dot dot and I'll do ls so you can see we created the directory PHP and inside this we put our code so you can create any directory and n numbers of directory you can create and you can put your code inside that I'll do cd dot uh, dot dot now I'll show you how can we start manage the services in this so I'll just uh, do dot slash manager Linux this run file I'll just open it so here you can see it has been opened successfully now here you have to go to manage servers and here you can see from here you can start and restart your services Apache and MySQL services start stop or restart 
whatever you want to do you can do it from here now we'll try to access the php my admin or database so similarly i'll give here localhost 8080 and then php my admin so here you can see php my admin 2 has been opened so we'll give the default username which is root and the password which we have given when we were creating when we were installing so here you can see we have the access to php my admin also we can create database and we can link it to our website so that's it guys i'm shown the complete configuration of lamp stack we are able to create our website and we are able to create our databases so thank you guys for watching this video do like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel for more amazing tutorials